fraction and whole number division. Let's try an example. One fourth divided by two. One fourth is our dividend, and two is the divisor. Let's draw it out. We divide one rectangle into four equal parts. One of the four parts represents one fourth. We divide the model into two equal parts, like if we use scissors to cut the model. Our shaded part, one fourth, gets divided into two equal parts. And one of these parts is our final answer, because one fourth is divided by two. As you can see, instead of four equal parts, now we have eight equal parts, because we divided. So half of the shaded region is one eighth. We could also solve this division problem by writing a related multiplication sentence. First, we start by changing the whole number to a fraction. 2 is the same as 2 over 1. Now we can write the related multiplication sentence. We keep 1 fourth the same. We change the division sign to a multiplication sign. Something interesting happens with our divisor. We change the spots of the numerator and the denominator. So instead of 2 over 1, we have 1 over 2. Now we can multiply the fractions like usual. First, we multiply the numerators. 1 times 1 gives us 1. Next, we multiply the denominators. 4 times 2 equals 8. So 1 fourth divided by 2 equals 1 eighth. Let's do a similar problem. 1 sixth divided by 3. Our dividend is a fraction, and the divisor is a whole number. Let's draw a model to help us solve. We divide one rectangle into six equal parts. One of the six parts represents one sixth. We divide the model into three equal parts, like if we use scissors to cut the model. Our shaded part, one sixth, gets divided into three equal parts. And one of these parts is our final answer, because one sixth is divided by three. As you can see, instead of 6 equal parts, now we have 18 equal parts, because we divided. So 1 of the 3 divided parts is 1 over 18. We can solve the division problem by solving a related multiplication sentence. Remember, instead of 3, we can write 3 over 1. Now let's write the multiplication sentence. We keep 1 over 6 the same. We change the division sign to a multiplication sign. Now we flip 3 over 1 to get 1 over 3. Finally, we multiply the fractions. We get 1 over 18. So 1 6 divided by 3 is 1 over 18. Now let's do a different example. 2 divided by 1 third. This time the dividend is a whole number and the divisor is a fraction. Let's draw a model. We draw two rectangles to represent the dividend, two. The divisor is one third, so we have to divide each rectangle into thirds. Now we count the total number of thirds. We have six thirds. Now let's rewrite the division problem into a related multiplication sentence. We keep two unchanged. We turn the division sign into a multiplication sign. Like in the previous examples, we have to flip the divisor. One third becomes three over one. Now we multiply. Three over one is the same as three. So two times three equals six. Let's do another example. Three divided by one fifth. 3 is the dividend, and 1 fifth is the divisor. Let's draw it out. We draw 3 squares to represent the dividend, 3. Since the divisor is 1 fifth, we divide each square into fifths. Now we count the total number of fifths. We have 15 of them. So the final answer is 15 but we can also solve the division problem by writing a related multiplication sentence. We keep three unchanged. Next, we turn the division sign into a multiplication sign. 
Now we flip 1 fifth to make 5 over 1. Instead of 5 over 1, we can just write 5. Now we multiply 3 times 5 to get 15. So 3 divided by 1 fifth is 15. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.